Greetings, my friends. The Bible makes it very clear that no man can know the day and the hour of Jesus Christ's return and the imminent rapture or apostle catching away. Only God knows the day and the hour, not Jesus, not the angels, not anyone else. Here's the deal, though. The Bible also makes it very clear and plain <coughs> that we can know the season. And I'm asking you a question right now. Could 2017 be the season of Jesus Christ's return? Let's look and see what's going on. First of all, it amazes me that people are dumbed down when it comes to the Bible. I've heard people that are criticizing the potential revelation sign in the heavens with a woman clothed with the sun and the moon in her feet, saying that it is astrology and that God uh, will condemn people, condemn people to death in the Bible for doing astro astrological signs. And God's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And yes, God is. But see, this is not astrology. This is astronomy the study of the constellations and the stars in the heavens. If you look in the Bible, there are multiple scripture where God actually mentions constellations and it's what God used to guide men. I believe it was a constellation that, that, used, that God used to guide the wise men to Jesus Christ's birth. This is not astrological signs studying Pisces and Virgo and all that garbage. This is astronomy looking at signs in the heaven. So it's a different thing. And God has signs in the heavens for a reason. So we've got that big sign coming up this fall. We also have the huge solar eclipse, the first one in a hundred years, where all of America will be darkened for several minutes. And seven years after that, it will be a repeat performance happening again. Is that when maybe America will be destroyed as a great horror? Who knows? You've got Donald Trump now saying that he is assured in his own mind he'll make peace this fall in September. You've got so many things that are happening this, this year. So many things that are happening. In, you've got the 30 year, the 40 year, the 50 year, the 70 year, the 100 year, and the 120 year generations of the Bible all lining up and pointing to 2017 as a year. So many things are happening, my friends. So many things are just shaking up. And, and look at the world right now. Look at how, the, how terror is everywhere and evil and wickedness and, and horror. Look at how the mankind has turned into just such a bad people for the most part. It's terrible to see what's happening. God is getting ready to judge this world. And before he judges the world, he's got to take Christ's bride out of here. The Bible says that clearly. It's not mid or post-trib, it's pre-trib. Believe what you want to believe. I'm just telling you the facts. I can't sit there and tell you anything other than the facts of the Bible. You interpret them whatever way you want to, ignore them at your own peril. That's not my problem. My problem is to tell you the truth. And I don't want to see anyone miss out on the rapture or apostle catching away. I want to see everyone go. Even those of you who hate me, I love you. I, I pray that God would bless you, would bless my enemies. You're not my enemies for me, but, but you hate me, but I still love you. So many things are happening, my friends. And this world, obviously, to any Christian with any even an ounce of discernment, any Holy Spirit-filled Christian will know, it can't continue on like this for much longer. It can't go on. God said it'd be like in the days of Noah. And also, this is also what's really, really, really key. God said that people would be eating and drinking, marrying, giving in marriage. So people would be having a, a relatively normal life. And right now, we have that. When Trump took over as president, now we've got stability in our economy, in the global economy, it's stable. But it's, it's a house of cards. Don't be deceived. It's held up by, by the thinnest, thinnest, thinnest bit of glue. And I believe what's going to undo that glue is an imminent rapture, a positive catching away. And I believe in my heart of hearts that 2017 could be the season. Now, if it's not 2017, what do we do? We just get ready for 2018 because God, even the disciples thought the rapture, Harpazo catching away was going to happen in their time. Our job is to watch. Our job is to witness and pray and tell the truth and to show people what's going on in prophecy. And remember, God's time is not our time. A, a, a thousand years to God is like a second to us. So you never know what God's time is. But again, how much longer do you think in your heart of hearts this evil, wicked world can continue on like it is right now? I don't think it can happen much longer at all. We need to be getting ready and getting ready now. Jesus Christ is your only hope. If you've never been saved, pray the prayer, do the six steps I have in a box below the video, and no one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you're a backslider, why take a chance on misinterpreting God's word, no matter how sincere you are? Don't miss heaven because you made a mistake. Repent. It's good for your soul. It's good for your spirit. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day without fail. True Christians, witness the prayer for the lost daily at your job. If you're not doing it, do it now. If you are, great, and look up. Our different draw nigh, we fly soon. May God bless you and share this video. Bye.